Next tool set that we're going to look at are the lasso tools, and you'll find those directly under the marquee tools. And the lasso tools give us three options. We have the lasso tool, the polygonal lasso tool, and the magnetic lasso tool. And we're going to use the tomato picture again just to demonstrate these. They work pretty much the same as the marquee tool, except that you have a lot more control. You're not confined to a specific shape like a rectangle or an oval. With the primary lasso tool, it's a freehand tool that allows you to draw around your object whatever it is that you want to select. So let's say that we wanted to select just this tomato right here. We can simply choose the lasso tool, left mouse click and hold the left mouse button down, and as we draw, it will create a selection everywhere we draw. It's very precise and it's a little bit challenging to get it exact but there you have it. as soon as I release my mouse button it turns that into a selection. Okay now the freehand version the regular lasso tool can work in some areas pretty handily especially if you don't need to do precise outlining like we were attempting to do in this particular case. However, if you want to do precise selections, the lasso tool may not be your best option. The polygonal lasso tool actually gives us a little bit more control. I'm going to zoom in here on my tomato a little bit. And you'll notice that my cursor looks like the tool. If I turn the cap lock key on, it turns into a crosshair. Okay, so you might want to keep that in mind if you need to do something a little bit more precise. Okay, now, the way the polygon lasso tool works different than the regular lasso tool is that it creates points. Every time you click your left mouse button, it creates a new point. And these are straight lines. So, like you're going, if I click here, you'll notice that it it's creating a straight line and wherever I click the next time it continues the selection until I get back here to the beginning. If I'm not exactly sure where the beginning is or I'm done clicking and I'm close you can double click and that'll fill in the the gap. Okay, But you can also use it to be a little bit more precise in selecting an object especially if you zoom in. So like with this tomato here I can just start clicking points around the edge of the tomato and you'll notice that it's a little bit easier for me to follow than trying to freehand draw it with the regular lasso tool. So I can just go right around here until I'm finished and let's say that I'm finished and whenever I get up close to my starting point, which in some cases, depending on the image, may be a little challenging to see, you'll notice that a little circle appears whenever I'm close to my start point, and that lets me know when the circle appears that if I left mouse click again, it'll complete the selection like that. Okay? And then the last tool that we have for our lasso is the magnetic lasso. And the magnetic lasso is kind of cool because it uses edge detection to guesstimate where the edge is of whatever you're silhouetting around. And this works better in some cases than others. But if I left mouse click to create an anchor point and just start drawing around the edge of the image, as long as I'm close, the program will automatically insert anchor points for me, you'll notice. All that I'm doing is moving my mouse. I don't even have the mouse button pushed down. So it's guesstimating where those anchor points should be. Or I can also hold the mouse button down and it adds more anchor points, you'll notice, in very regular fashion. Or as I'm dragging along, I can choose where I want an anchor point to appear just by clicking. And the selection will follow the edge. You can see here it's following the edge. And it's usually a good idea to go fairly slow. It can be tricked. 
but it's a much easier way of trying to silhouette an object out, as you can see here. And there's the circle, so I can click. And so what can we do with this? Well, the same thing that we could with the regular um, marquee tools that we looked at earlier. I can bring up color replace or hue and saturation, control U in this case, again, or command U. And we can change just the color of the tomato. So whenever I zoom out, deselect that, you notice that this tomato is green and all the others are red. So it gives you the opportunity to go in and create some really cool effects without a lot of extra work.